everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. This week we're talking about CMMC Control AU.L2-3.3.2. Ensure that the actions of individual system users can be uniquely traced to those users so they can be held accountable for their actions. Gonna put you in handcuffs, baby! So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, trying to understand all of this CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SP800171 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload, well, I've got great news for you. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's jump into it. So CMMC control AU.L1-3.3.2 ensure that the actions of individual system users can be uniquely traced to those users so they can be held accountable for their actions. Why is it so critical? For so many reasons. But most importantly, we have to be able to know who did what when in order to adequately secure our systems, right? Because if we don't know who did it, or at least what account did it, how we know what really was going down. Again, I'm not going to go extensively into the cybersecurity reasoning behind this. Uh, if you want more information, reach out to us. Uh, there's links below, links in the bio, and we can obviously help walk you through things. But for the sake of understanding what the assessors really care about, I think on this one, let's just jump into what the assessors are looking for and how to make them happy. Now, two control points here, all right? Determine if the content of the audit records needed to support the ability to uniquely trace users to their actions is defined. Uh, and we would say, of course it is, right? Because it's basically built into our SEAM solution. That's what a SEAM solution does. Uh, and again, you'll probably be expected to give some sort of a demonstration. Second point, determine if audit records once created contain the defined content implemented via the SEAM solution. So again, determine if audit records once created contain the uh, defined content so that again, uh, it's all there right in the SEAM solution. Not really a lot more to it. You're probably giving a demonstration on this one in order to actually prove your case. So. <clears throat> and on call, we work with defense contractors just like you who have had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliance stuff dropped into their laps like a seagull on a sunny day. We teach you how to level up and be a proper on call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved, all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. Now, that's what becoming an on call compliance hero can do for you. If you're looking for more help getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. If you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button uh, to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. Until next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you next time.